YouTube? This is your girl Samantha Sweets, and welcome back to my channel. My channel. Hey, sweetie squad, what is up, guys? I know I've been a little MI MIA. I promise I'll be able to talk soon. Um, but yeah, guys, I've just been going through the ringer. Everything. There's just a lot going on in my head lately. Um, if you guys do not know, I am a Gemini. I am also very deep think. Like I'm a deep. Like I've. I, I'm bipolar. Like, let me just go ahead and just admit this now. Um, I probably do a separate video, but I am bipolar. Um, I can be up one minute, down the next, sl sliding slopes. I mean, it just can go either way. It. I don't want to say it's a disability, but sometimes I could say that it is because you are stuck in your own mood. Like, you're stuck. You're just stuck. There's no coming out of it, and it's it's it it's hard. It's really hard. Because you're basically fighting yourself. You're fighting your head. Because some one minute, like, I could be so happy. And then one little thing is said. And I snap like that. I will snap. I will go to 0 to 100 and like that. The people at work call me a jalapeno pepper. They call me a, uh, they call me a jalapeno pepper and a firecracker. And I just, boom, baby, TNT. I, I blow up. And it's not healthy. It really is not healthy. Um, I was actually diagnosed with bipolar when I was 19. So I've had it for a while. We didn't know what it was because I uh, kept getting migraines. Really bad migraines. I'm talking like cowering my head in the corner in the dark. Like wanting to someone to take a hammer to my head to end it all. That's how bad the migraines were. And I just, I knew. Like I just... I knew something was definitely wrong with me because I've had headaches in the past, but nothing like this. And um, they lasted for about three months. And finally, I was like, okay, I can't take any more, mom. You know, we got to do something. And so they took me to a neurologist. And in the process, they also tested me for bipolarism. I cannot remember, honestly, what the testing was. It was years ago. But they ask you a whole bunch of questions. And however you answer them is how you're detected being bipolar. If that makes any sense, that's just insane, I know. But it's what happened because I was told that I was bipolar. And, um, you know, it does help to take medication. Um, I try not to take medication because I think it messes with A, your liver, and B, your mindset. Like, I don't want to be walking around like a zombie. I am a very upbeat person. Um, how I went most of my life not knowing. I mean, honestly, I think it contract. I think that I, I did not have it when I was a child. I think that it came about, you know, through growing up into who I became and all my trouble past and everything. Well, not my trouble past, but my family and everything that I went through. Because um, your girl had to, I, I love my childhood, but in the midst of it, being a teenage mom, well, you catch the drift. So... Um, but that's not what this story time is about, so I'm even sorry how I started the video, but that's just the truth of what I've been going through, and um, it's getting better. There are days that I'm just like, I don't want to film for y'all because I don't want you to get the half of me. I want you to get all of me, and I just can't, I can't pull myself to do it. I just, I can't. But um, good things are happening and big things are coming for Samantha Sweets. And that means that big things are coming for my Sweetie Squad. So if you guys do not know who I am, I promise you I am not this Debbie Downer. I am a fabulous, wonderful, upbeat person. I'm Samantha Sweets. Please make sure you hit that subscription button below. Give it a click right here. Ring a ding ding that bell. You're going to want to ring that bell because I'm doing eight. What? Giveaway right now. I am doing two winners and you will be receiving your pro. Well, not receiving, but you will also be knowing who wins on March not March <laughs> May 17th I told you guys it's it's just been a it's been a long month I'm not even gonna say month it's just been long months okay we're gonna get it together we're gonna get it together very very soon if not sooner but yeah announcing the winner on May 17th and that is next Friday so all my ones that have asked who won who won who won Nobody won yet because the giveaway is still going on. So as I said, comment on that video, like it, and in the comments down below, put what your favorite animal is. And of course, I don't choose the winners. It goes random queue. So the queue will just ding and pick two of my winners. All right. Now, story time for y'all. I want to real quick reach out to my sweetie squad and say, what stories do you want to hear? I have no problem talking about my life. You guys have heard about my suicide story you guys have heard about my 
uh, witnessing a murder crime scene story, I have had a very adventurous life. So I have stories for pretty much everything, I would think so. But the story that I have for you guys today is how did I meet my best friend? You guys know that I talk about Jocelyn so much on my channel, and so I've had a lot of people also ask me, how long have you guys known each other? Where'd you guys meet? You know what I mean? Like, those kind of questions. And inquiring minds want to know. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump on in there and tell you that. But before I do, like I said, please make sure if you have any challenges you want to see, or story times, or even questions, put it in the comments below. Also, I am actually doing a survey. I'm going to have to do a pop-up queue, but it's going to be what kind of eye color would you like to see a get ready with me with. I believe I'm going to do purple, gold, and smoky. So it will be up to y'all to decide what you guys want to see. Oh, no, no, no. Take out the, the gold. I'm going to take out the gold and put blue. So we're going to do purple, blue, and smoky. Your choice. All right. Now let's get back into this story. All right. So Miss Jocelyn, um, I can say her last name. Everyone does, doesn't does pronounce it right. But her last name is Sukanek. But she has always been called Sukanek or Sukanek. Uh, but it's Sukanek. Uh, and um, I've known her since she was nine years old and I was 11. We are two years apart and we used to live down south in West Palm Beach at Summit Pines. So all my uh, 561 area code friends, watch your girl. Yes, remember those good times. Um, I dream about Pe uh, Pebble Hill, really? No, that's why. Right. No. I dream about Summit Pines constantly. So does she. That was a very wonderful childhood of ours. Literally, it is like a, it has, okay, so it's like, it's not gated, but you might as well call it gated, and it has three other neighborhoods inside of it. And you have Summit Pines, you have Summit Trail, and you have Summit Run. So I think that's so cool. Like, you have, you know, multiple neighborhoods. And we, we had the neighborhood kids. We were the popular neighborhood kids. Like, we had it going on. I'll just tell you that now. But the story is how we met. Okay, so... I had one friend, um, her name was Jacqueline or Joanna, it was, it promise you these people existed, but anyways, Jacqueline or Joanna, she, um, was both of our friends, and I had seen Jocelyn in the neighborhood before, like I said, it's like where me and her lived was one big circle, we lived in Summit Trail, and it was one big circle, and, um, also Jacqueline and Joanna, they lived there too as well, and, um, I lived, like, I'm looking at my house, like, in my head right now. I lived on, like, a slope, kind of, and I have a lake directly behind me. And, um, what separated us was two speed bumps. I will never forget that. So, literally, it's like, one, two, three, four, five. I want to say it was five houses on the right that separated her house and my house. And we were inseparable after we met. So, um, how we met, yes. There was a dog... Okay, and it bit me. I was rollerblading, and the dog came out of nowhere. I don't know where the dog came from, but the dog came out and bit me on the back of my right calf. I have no scar or nothing. I honestly, I think it was like a puppy, and it might have just like tugged because I don't have any scarring or anything. But um, it was the first time I ever got bit by a dog, and I think my only time. Well, you know, nips on the fingers and stuff, but that was, you know, on the back of my thigh. And um, her dad ran out. And was like, um, oh my god, is she okay? Is she okay? And he shooed the dog away. And um, she came out too. And um, basically, you know, she introduced herself. I introduced myself. I would seen her around the neighborhood, but I didn't, like, know her. And so, um, basically, that was the first time we encountered each other. Then, the next time was a couple of months later. And I was actually looking for my friend. And I went to her house. And her mom told me that she was at Jocelyn's. So I was like, okay. So I went to Jocelyn's house. I know that sounds like really bad. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to this girl's house to get my friend. <laughs> like, that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. And so I went over there and um, they were all in the back room. Like, she had bunk beds and stuff growing up for her and her sisters. And um, there was, there's um, in our houses where there's three bedrooms. And there's um, the big bedroom, which is the parents' room. That's just what it is unless you're Brooke and you get your parents to give you the big bedroom. <laughs> and then you have the kitchen and then you have the hall. You have the living room and the hallway. And then you have the first bedroom, which was my brother's, or in her case, the spare bedroom. And then you have the bathroom and then you have this, the last bedroom, which was mine was in the back and hers was in the back conveniently. 
but yeah so that's how our houses were set up and I love those houses oh my god I wish I could just move back there I absolutely adore those houses but um it was so cute and um I yeah, so I went there looking for it and then it was like well do you guys all want to hang out you know she had asked and um she always always her dad was always the cooking guy he made the best burritos that you've ever had in your life he made the milanesas oh she's calling me right now as we speak girl i told you i was filming it's okay she lives in my neighborhood so she'll probably be knocking on the door any minute <laughs> but anyways um she he, he made the best milanesas and the um best ordering of pizza i know he didn't make the pizza but he ordered the best pizza so it was just like a fun time growing up. And again, I was 11 and she was 9. However, Jocelyn has always looked um, older than me. Uh, she has always was more uh, out there growing up. She uh, got hers before mine and um, was very mature. And just, <laughs> she was just, uh, she looked it. I mean, she just, she was also taller. You know what I mean? So she's always looked older so she would always tell people i was younger and she was older but i'm the one that's older and she's the one that's younger but i never argue with her i just let her have it it is what it is she can have it because i age don't mean shit to me but anyways uh so i'm gonna say that word like a thousand times uh comment down below when i say but anyways um but yeah so we were like inseparable after that and um, it was like Joanna and Jacqueline who? I'm just playing. We still hung out with them, but we were getting older and we were venturing out. I think Jacqueline had moved at the time. And so Jocelyn and I just, we met right before summer and summer hit and we were together every freaking day. Like every day it was either me spending at her house or she spending at my house. We would do the most craziest stuff. We would literally, because there was like a bank around the lake, we would go in the lake and we go right on the bank and catch tadpoles with our hands like that's what we did our children would never know about this stuff you know what i mean now it's all video oh let's catch a tadpole on the phone in a, a damn virtual net you know what i mean like that's how kids learn these days i know kids interact is all about the damn video games but uh, tadpoles catching snails oh yeah i know right how hard is it to catch a damn snail <laughs> collecting snails i should say and we give them in a shoe box uh we try to feed it unfortunately they burnt because we didn't know you couldn't put them in sheds <laughs> so uh, they got a little crispy okay well done s car go <laughs> and um i mean we just did everything i remember one time we went to um where we go a yard sale and we had a whole bunch of pennies like pennies nickels quarters you know we were kids we didn't have money um and we would go there and we would get um baby stuff you know what i mean like she knew she wanted to be a mom at a young age i really didn't know if i wanted to be a mom or not but she loved it she we have the baby dolls and the baby bottles and the strollers and the car seats and this woman just sold it all to us i mean everything we um we would uh get raymond noodles and we would play college. We would take out my mom's wine glasses and put apple juice in it or ginger ale or something and pretend pinkies up and we would be playing college. We would, um, oh my God, like what didn't we do? Um, um, her mom and dad are divorced. My mom and dad are divorced too, but at the time my mom and dad were married and um, her mom and dad literally what separates their houses is just a long, um, I want to say sidewalk because really it's a sidewalk, but it was a road, basically. It was the next neighborhood over, and she had a pool, and we had a pool. So we were fishes. Like, we were fishies. We were always at the pool. We were at the pool so much together that people even asked us if we were lesbians. And I think we were only, like, 12. <laughs> and they were asking us, you know, are y'all lesbians? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... And it was kind of crazy because, and I, I don't want to know if she'll remember this, we kind of couldn't date somebody unless they knew somebody that we could date. It was funny. It was like, okay, I dated a guy and then she dated his brother. Or I dated the friend and she dated the best friend. We always kind of kept it like, oh, you don't have a friend or a brother? Sorry, we can't date you. <laughs> we always dated around each other and, um... Oh my god, as soon as I learned how to upload pictures, um, like, because I have pictures, like, from, like, 
pictures in my photo album from birthday parties and stuff, y'all will see the transformation of uh, Miss Jocelyn and Miss Samantha, okay? Because I was a little ugly duckling uh, buck -tooth beaver, okay? <laughs> and uh, definitely grown into mine. And uh, Jocelyn, she had kind of like a boyish haircut, kind of, and she grew into hers. And it's just, I mean, we have transformed. But here we are. And this is going to be 22 years in July. I can't guarantee you it was July. But we say that because we know it was over the summer. So we just, that's it, July. It's it's good. It's the, it's the Independence Month, you know what I mean? So July is our anniversary. But I couldn't tell you exactly what the month is. I just know that it has been almost 22 years. And we will be celebrating this year. Last year we didn't celebrate. I don't remember what we did. I think 21 years passed us. It was just like, er, another day. We forgot because we don't know exactly dates either. So for now, we'll just pick a damn date in July. Uh, comment down below what you guys think the date of July should be our anniversary. Friendship anniversary. Bestie anniversary. 17th. Okay, 17th. That's what my roommate just said. So uh, July 17th it is. July 17th will be what me and Jocelyn's anniversary is. I like it. You like it? I love it. Let's roll lucky with it. Number. Yeah, lucky number. All right, so back to my story. So again, we were inseparable. Every Friday night, we would go to Atlanta Skateway, but we didn't go there to skate. We went there to do our shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> and we would shake it, shake it, shake it. And back in the day, this was now in like the 99, I think, and we would like have our um, mouthpieces that glow, our bracelets that glow, uh, little mouthpieces that glow. Like everything was all about that glowing, boo. Okay, so we would always get those from like the dollar store and she would do my hair and makeup. Um, we weren't that big on makeup, but hair was everything. And to this day, the girl still does my hair because I can't do my hair. Okay, I just can't. I think it's because I didn't play with Barbie dolls growing up or do baby dolls. I didn't play with the hair. Like that girl, she could do a damn braid at freaking 12, 11 years old. She could do a damn French braid. I mean, she's amazing at everything she could do. She could do nails. She could do makeup. She could do hair. She could, do, she could cook. She could organize. She could freaking decorate your whole damn house. The woman is gifted. Okay. Um, what can I do? Uh, I can shop. <laughs> I can. I, I have great creative ideas. I can do makeup now. Um, again, guys, I've only been in the makeup world, I think, um, we're going on three and a half years. So if I can do it, you can do it. I still can't do my damn hair, though. I give up with that. Um, but, um, oh, no! uh, what I can do, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm Miss Thang. I'm the outgoing bestie, okay? So another thing that really works for me and Jocelyn because if you look it up a Gemini and a Virgo she is a Virgo actually do not coincide they just don't but opposites do attract so with her being I've told you she's my little turtle she stays in that shell until I bring her out and then when it's time for me to go back into mine she uh, pushes me back in because we balance each other out. It's crazy. And we are always together. And this is such a small town that everyone always asks, Oh my God, is that your sister? Is that your sister? Do we look alike? Because she has like minty green eyes. And I have hazel. So I don't see the resemblance. And I'm always with a different color hair. So I can't even say, oh, well, I have this hair. You'll never know what my hair color is. But she has normally like a dirty blonde hair. So you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. But I... When you, when you hang together, maybe you look like, you know, each other. But the most important part of the story is how I knew she was my best friend. Because she was just a friend. I We had friends. We had, and again, I'm just going to throw names out there because I don't care. We had another friend named Brandy. We had another friend named Jada. That was her sister. We had another friend named Anice. And we were all the neighborhood kids. We had our Spanish guy friends. Yeah, your girl didn't hang out with black guys back then. It was all about them Dominican, Puerto Ricans, and Colombians. And, uh, oh, wait, what was Julian? Julian was... I don't know. I don't remember. Was he Venezuelan? I don't remember. But we always hung out with the Spanish guys. And once again, I was dating one, and she would date the friend, and then Brandy had the other one, and we... We just all kept it together. But we were all virgins, I promise you. Virgins, okay? We um, spent our time playing hide and seek in the dark. 
Okay, that shit was so much fun. We would uh, prank call the guys. I'm trying to think of a movie this is reminding me of. Like, our childhood with the groups and stuff. Um, what movie is that? I want to say, I really want to say um, Virgin Suicides. But that's such a sad-ass movie. But I'm just saying how the girls were a clique and the guys were a clique. That's kind of like how we were. And um, I have so many good memories. Oh my God, I have, I'm gonna tell you a story in a minute. But let me just tell you real quick how, cause we're at 20 minutes already, but hey, we can go on 45. Y'all even heard me talk in a minute. So we, so how I knew she was my best friend. I had started dating a black guy. I started dating a black guy. And well, um, even though we had a Dominican guy in the group and he was, blacker than the ace of spades he wasn't black so i don't know why it was like that growing up but i clearly you know i i have a uh, half black child um my child's mixed her child's are mixed so um clearly that didn't stick with us but um we just didn't date black guys i don't know why we just didn't I, our parents embedded shit in our head we don't know but anyways um i started dating one I was the first out of the group to date one, and I, they completely shunned me. They shunned me. They called me a N-I-G-G-A, uh, well, E-R, lover, and basically wanted to whoop my ass. Like, came to my house, banging on my gate, because we all had gates and stuff, and, you know, they they wanted to fight me. My dad took the hose to the ass, okay? Uh, yeah, fly away, boo. Um, but, yeah, the next day... And I, it broke my heart. Like, we were such good friends. We did everything together. And because I started dating outside of our race, you guys drop me, judge me, betray me. So, I couldn't believe it. I was basically heartbroken. Um, I want to say I was 12, 11. Jesus, I don't know. I know that sounds terrible to have a boyfriend at that age. But, I mean you know, boyfriend. There wasn't nothing intimate about that. It was just a boyfriend. Um, I want to say 11, probably. But anyways, I was in middle school, so maybe 12? Yeah, we'll go with 12. It sounds better. <laughs> we'll say 12. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh yeah, 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 it was after my Britney Spears birthday. So, it might have even been 13. It might have been 13, because I got my period when I was 12. So, dated my first black guy, and uh, Jocelyn actually came back the next day. Um, she knocked on my gate, and my dad's like, what the hell you want? And she was like, I just want to talk to Sam. And I'll never forget this. Is I don't, I, the girl can't remember what she ate for breakfast, okay? So she probably won't even remember this story. But this story sticks to me. It sticks to me, and I remember telling her about it. And she'll sometimes be like, oh, yeah. And then sometimes she'll be like, what? It's, all, it's just her brain sometimes. But I get like that too, trust me. I have the worst blonde moment she could tell you her damn self. Um, she came back. And she was like, Sam, you know what? If you're happy, I'm happy for you. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, if this guy makes you happy, then so be it. I, you know, I, I like spending time with you and I like hanging out with you. And I don't care what the rest say. You know, they turn their back on me, then so be it too. And I knew. I knew in that moment I wish I had a date. Hell, I wish I had a time. I knew she was my best friend. Like, I knew it. Like, this was the girl that God has designated to lock it in for that bestie uh, title. That's the word I was like, I'll say symbol, but no, title. Okay? And that's, that's strong. Because you got friends, and you got acquaintances, and you got homegirls, but there can only be one best friend. You can only have one. And roommates, but you can only have one. And that's my one. That's the one that God chose me to have. And we have been through so many ups and downs. We've been through fights. We've actually not talked for like three months. You know what I mean? It's never been like no year or nothing. God forbid. But it's been like three months. That was actually really hard on me. I was in the hospital. She was going through her own stuff. I was in the hospital because of anxiety and stress of losing my best friend. But, I mean, that's a... that's. That'll be another story for another day. We, we don't, we don't want to put sadness in this story. But 
I thought I knew she was my best friend. And basically, I was heartbroken when she left me. Um, she moved up to Mariana, where we live now. She moved up here when she was, she'll tell me this all the time, and I forget, I forget, I forget. 12. 12. Yeah, 12. Because she met her baby dad at 12. So she was 12, and so that makes me 14. And I was heartbroken. Like, my best friend is gone. You know what I mean? Like, she's gone. We were inseparable, and now she's gone. Well, her dad still stayed down there. So her mom moved up here, so she would go back and forth, and back and forth, back and forth. And I was going, my mom and dad were going through a divorce, and I was going through my own situations and stuff and relationships and everything like that. And she was not there for Dorian's birth, but she checked on me, and she was, it was so sweet. And I was not there for her first child's birth, but I checked on her, but I was there for her, her other two children's births, which is amazing. Her other daughters, her two daughters. Her first child is her son, and then she has two daughters. And I was there for both of her daughters' birth. But, um, and our, our sons are best friends. Kind of like us being best friends. I think that's amazing. And I just, I think it's such a blessing to have her in my life. And, oh my God, I'm not about to start crying. Don't cry. I'm just saying, like, you guys know that almost two months ago, she could have died. Like, she really could have died. And I don't know what I would have done. Like, I don't know. Like, I've thought about it. Like, I probably wouldn't even talk. Like, I'd be a mute. I just, I, I don't even know. Like, seriously. I, the thought of even trying to look down and see her in a casket, I would just, like, die. Because I've had to do that to a girl my age. And it was very hard. It was very, it was, it was, it was really hard on me. And I only knew the girl for three months. So, imagine how hard that was for me for three months to 21 years like yeah i would i don't know i just don't know but um yeah i'm over here crying why do i look like a clown oh because my nose is so red but yeah so she's my best friend she's got the title that's it. Like I said, we go through our ups. We go through our downs. We want to strangle each other half the time. No, I'm just playing. Some of the time. Um, but I love her. And I feel like I could tell her anything. She feels like she could tell me anything. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, it's a little personal. So we don't want to talk about it up front. But eventually, it will come out. Alcohol related. It will come out. You know, eventually, it will come out. But, um, I've stayed by her side. She stayed by my side. Um, oh, how I got up here. Well, she and the father of her child were going through it, and she was pregnant with her second child, and she was like, you know what, Sam, I, I move up here with me, because I actually, she stopped coming, because her, her dad moved up here eventually, and um, she stopped coming down there, so I had to come up here to visit her, so it was me traveling all the time on the Greyhound and stuff, and I moved up here when I was, I think I've told this in a video before, I cannot remember what video, but I moved up here when I was six. 17 I was 17 and I and I just had my son and I he was 10 months old and I moved up here because her mom was like oh Jocelyn hates it up here she don't know anybody so yeah Sam move up here live with us you know whatever I was here for three months and then I left that's another story for another day but I left and she stayed excuse me she stayed and then we just would continue to I would come over there to visit her she would, you know, try to come down to visit me. At one point, she did come down there and move with me. She lived with me for six months, three months. I can't remember. But we lived together. And then she moved back up here. And then I moved up here again with her when I was 19. And I was only here two weeks. And I was like, er, burr, back to the city. I can't stand the country. And then when I was 23, I moved up here for good. Uh, I think it was 22 turning 23. Yeah. So I was 22 turning 23. And um, I just got out of a bad relationship. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I can use a good change of scenery. And she said she needed me. She needed me to help her get through um, the breakup of her baby daddy and her and everything like that. And yeah. So I did. And um, do I regret it? No. Because I honestly think that I have matured. I have grown. I have become Miss Independent up here. I work for the state of Florida. You know what I mean? Nine years next month. Woo woo. Yeah, with that stress. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I think that I have found myself up here. Now, do I feel like my man of my dreams is living up here? Hell no. I don't think so. Because the men around here are just whack. That's the word I got for them. Whack. But 
I've met some amazing people living up here and I mean Jocelyn doesn't want to live here forever she really doesn't and I damn sure hope she don't because I got to go soon and I'm pretty sure she's coming with me <laughs> I already I already said I was like if I become a big youtuber you know how they all have those big ass houses and everything like that I was like it's fine I'll just have a wing dedicated to her and the kids and um, I'll have my wing for my family and we'll, we'll live together we'll just you know whatever Always and forever. <laughs> That's what I've joked. And then I was like, honestly, Jocelyn, I could just hire you as my stylist. Because the girl could do hair like, whoa. So, you know, if I did become famous, you know what I mean? She could be my stylist. That way she has to go with me. <laughs> oh, man. And we're like, now that she lives with me, we're two freaking peas in a damn pod. We're always together. I'm either up the street. She's down here. It's crazy. Really crazy. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I, that, maybe that's why I haven't filmed. I've been over there so much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, what can I say? That's my bestie. That's my best friend. Um, a little things about her. She's terrified of cockroaches. She hates cockroaches. She hates the word ain't and finna <laughs> she hates those words ain't and finna and what else she hates liars like me yeah that goes with the territory um she's argentinian and italian and the girl can cook like a professional chef okay the girl don't need no damn timers while i'm over here watching the damn clock <laughs> no i can't cook but <laughs> um yeah uh, her favorite color is aqua, like a green, kind of minty green kind of thing. Aqua green and minty green. She loves those colors. Like I said, she's a Virgo. Um, her favorite animal is a pit bull. Really, Samantha? A bulldog. I'm so sorry. A bulldog because she used to have a bulldog when she was little called Cookie Monster. And, I mean, damn. Honestly, I kind of want us to, like, do a questionnaire quiz. Okay. I want you guys to do this. I want you to comment down below, because we're at 31 minutes now. I want you to comment down below what questions. Jocelyn will get on camera and answer questions about me, and I will get on camera and answer questions about her. We will know our answers next to us, but we won't reveal them until the end to see who got more right or wrong. That is awesome! So yeah, I'm going to talk to her about it because she wants me to head to the pool. I don't know if I'm getting in the pool, because uh, yeah, my hair, don't want my hair to get messed up. But, guys, before I jump off here, I just want you to say, if you do have a best friend, oh, my God, cherish them. Cherish them and do not let frivolous or dumb, petty things or men, okay, what's, uh, um, um, hoes before bros. No, that's for the guys. Chicks before dicks. That's ours. <laughs> Chicks before dicks. Don't let nobody come between y'all. Just don't. It, it, it's, it's a terrible feeling if you lost your best friend. But, yeah, guys, so... I've said yeah, but yeah, guys, like a thousand times, and that's okay. Oh, uh, I feel like a newbie at vlogging right now. I feel, I just, I don't know. Do I need alcohol? I don't need alcohol. But anyways, guys, check out that giveaway. I will leave the link again to my eBay lot lister, Miss Busy Beauty. And comment down below those questionnaires. Comment any questions about me or Jocelyn, what you guys want to know. And we got to answer them about each other. That's awesome. I can't wait to do it. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, 